Okay, so I thought I would do a little tutorial on how to uh, get that kind of reverse reverb sound out of the Stereo Memory Man with Hazari. Um, I've seen people uh, tell other people that, that you can do this and maybe even give some examples of uh, the settings to use, but I was going to go back from the beginning, from the start, and show exactly how I dial it in on the uh, Stereo Memory Man with Hazari. So you want to be on the multi-tap uh, setting at one second. So you want to be right here and uh, just start with all the knobs turn to the left or so. So that's basically just a dry sound coming out of there with the blend all the way to the left. Um, let's go ahead and put that kind of in the middle. Start with the decay in the middle, filter in the middle, everything right about here. And what you get is kind of this um, multi tap delay without uh, any kind of decay to it, really. So if we put this all the way to the left, you're just going to hear one. And then as you add more, Uh, this is like a quick decay. And then you get kind of a longer decay. And then when you're in the middle, you get kind of no decay at all. But as you start to turn further uh, clockwise, you get a reverse decay. So you'll notice that It starts low and then gets louder. Um, so we're going to be somewhere right around here because this is actually what emulates those old Alesis um, uh, units with, with their um, reverse settings there. So keep the uh, filter about where it is. Uh, to the repeats, you want it to be somewhere... Somewhere around 11 o'clock. And then uh, your delay is also going to be somewhere around there also. So that's kind of it, but you want to kind of mess with the delay and the repeats. You don't want it to last too long. Um... You don't want it to just be kind of super, super mushy. And then that's when we're also going to bring in the decay knob again and kind of. And kind of try to lose that first, um, first little attack. And that's where you'll go back to the blend knob also and give it a little bit more uh, wet. That's basically it. And and on this board, I have this um, near the front of uh, the board. That's actually right after the compressor there. So after that, then I go into all my drive section. And that's where you can kind of start to get... It doesn't have to be super heavy like that either. You just want a little bit of dirt on there. Um, but even if you added, like, say, this is the Earthquaker hoof. You 
you get that really cool uh, Kevin Shields, uh, My Bloody Valentine kind of sound to it. Um, all right, so thanks for watching. <laughs>